This short is a quick and simple video on how to quickly extrude a 3D model from a 2D drawing. The technique would work for a floor plan, elevation, aerial photograph, or even a survey map. We start by importing a scanned image into SketchUp and scaling it. Let's take a look at the detail itself. This is an elevator pit for the building. This is the floor of the foundation, one of the walls of the elevator pit, the floor of the pit. What we're going to do is start by tracing out this floor. As soon as the floor is traced, I select it, then immediately group it and name it as the floor of the foundation. Now we do the wall. Select the wall and group it. Immediately name it. And then finally the floor. Group it and name it. Now because these objects are opaque, I'm going to make them transparent by using a transparent material. I can now zoom in and make a rebar. I select this circle, immediately make it a component, and label it. Rebar D. I can now move into 3D and extrude that rebar. I'm going to pull the rebar out 24 inches. Once extruded, I'm going to place the rebar directly over the 2D drawing in the positions indicated. The concrete will be extruded in exactly the same way. It's now a matter of adding these dowels or these bent right rebar at 12 inches on center. First we add the top one, select it and move it outbound 12 inches. And we could duplicate that several times. Do the same for the bottom. And once those are in place, we can put these number fours in at 12 inches on center. We can take all of the perpendicular rebar and scale it out. We can also scale the walls. I now use the scale tool to create some differential between these wall structures. We'd also want to change the colors just to make them more opaque and realistic. Move this around and then I can take the entire detail and pull it away from the 2D.
And this is how that detail is represented in the book. Note that I combined a sump detail in the same SketchUp file.